Just a little quick tip on how the simplest things can cause a problem 3D printing. I kept having the extruder motor skipping on the Z5F and at one point it even caused an under extrusion. And I'm like, why the hell is it skipping? I tried turning up the temperature, it didn't have any effect. You wouldn't believe what it ended up being. It ended up being cosmetic. I noticed this was like this. And so I pushed it back up so that the cable followed it around. And it turned out doing that caused the angle of this tube here to increase to be a more acute angle. And that's what was doing it. As soon as I gave it this nice loop so that it wasn't at an acute angle coming out of that compression fitting, the problem completely went away and it stopped stuttering altogether. Well, isn't that weird? It's amazing how the most innocuous little thing can cause a problem with these machines and now it's it's printing perfectly. How weird is that? Well, it was printing perfectly before, it's just doing a lot of stuttering. You know, and then it got real bad at one point when it did that. And I was like, okay, time to stop it and find out what's wrong. That's it. Hasn't stuttered since. That is so weird. <laughs> you guys are going to like this printer. It's pretty neat. I mean, it's, it's not a, you know, the greatest printer in the world, but it's not bad. A little quickie nose kind of did. You can see there's a small imperfections there. Something up with the Z right there and right there. But otherwise, not bad. I'll have a more detailed review on this coming. Not a bad machine, though. Not bad for 220 bucks.